Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. I should probably do some cleaning. Been a while since I've cleaned my house. Uh, what do you think we should sing, Huggy? You know, music always helps cleaning to go better. What do you think we should sing? Oh, Love is in the Air. That is a very good song. Yes, I like that song, but <laughs> I, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a lot more than love in the air at Grandma Kitty's house. There's uh, cobwebs and dust. Mm -hmm. There is, what's that? And, and company, we have company. We have company? Oh, 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 hello there. Welcome to Grandma Kitty's house. And I'm Grandma Kitty, of course. I was just talking to my friend Huggy here, and we were thinking about doing some housework, but uh, you know how Grandma Kitty likes to clean. Well, you know, she doesn't particularly care to clean. So, um, you know, her motto is, why do today what you can put off until tomorrow? So we'll, we'll just set that aside. Yes, we'll, we'll get to that at a later date. Oh, so uh, how, how is everyone doing? Uh, are you having a good winter? Yeah, well, that's good. I'm glad that you are. Hope you're getting out to play in the snow. Yeah, so we have a, a holiday coming up soon. Do you know what holiday it is? That's right, it's Valentine's Day. Oh, you are so clever, yeah. So do you know what Valentine's Day is all about? It's all about love, right? It, it's what? It, it's when you get candy? Oh, oh, yeah, the candy is good too. I do like the candy, but yeah, it's, it's all about love and, and giving the people you love special things like candy or, or flowers, yeah. And it, it's not just for moms and dads or boyfriends and, and girlfriends. I mean, love is important for everybody. So, you know, it's a, it's a good holiday for kids too. So, you know, I, I have a book here about love and oh, this is about a grandmother's love for her grandchild. Oh, oh here it is. I love loved you before you were born. And this was written by Ann Bowen and illustrated by Greg Shedd. It's a very good book. Why don't we read that together? Even before you were born, I was your grandma and I loved you. I waited for you to be born. And while I waited, I thought about you, dreamed about you, wondered about you. Your mommy's tummy was big and round. Sometimes she would say to me, put your hand right here. I could feel you kicking, just like your daddy used to kick inside my tummy. And I wondered how much you would weigh and how long you would be from head to toe. Even before you were born, I could picture your mommy smile as she held you for the very first time. And I could hear your daddy ask, do you think the baby has my chin? I imagined your soft sighs and sweet smells and your tiny little toes all lined up like pink pearls on a necklace. I could see your hands spread out like little starfish reaching for sunbeams that danced on the walls of your room. Even before you were born, I imagined your first wide smile, a half moon smile reflected on your mommy's and daddy's faces. I made a soft flannel blanket just for you, and I wondered if you would carry it everywhere just like your daddy carried his. My son had a blanket. Fortunately, he had two so I could wash one while he carried the other one. I thought about reading you bedtime stories, dream stories, close your eyes stories, and singing you lullabies while your eyelids grew heavy with sleep. I imagined holding you close, rocking you, watching you make faces as you dreamed. Even before you were born, I could see you waking up from your afternoon nap. Tiny wrinkles of sleep brushed across your velvet cheeks. I saw your eyes round with surprise as you rolled over by yourself for the very first time. I imagined you crawling across your mommy's blue flowered quilt, ribbons of autumn sunlight weaving through your hair. Even before you were born, I saw your daddy holding you up to the soft glow of holiday lights while I wrap presents just for you. I could picture your first birthday party and I saw you eating birthday cake 
pink and yellow frosting finger painted across your face. My grandson had blue and yellow frosting. And do you know when you mix those together, you get green? <laughs> he had green frosting everywhere. <laughs> I imagined all these things about you until one day your daddy called and said, it's time. Your grandpa and I rushed to join everyone waiting just for you. We waited for your daddy to tell us all about you, how much you weighed, how long you were from head to toe, how your tiny toes lined up like pink pearls on a necklace. I saw your mommy smiling as she held you for the very first time, and I, ha I heard your daddy ask, do you think the baby has my chin? When it was my turn, I held you close and rocked you and whispered, I am your grandma and I love you. I loved you even before you were born. And there's the grandma holding the baby. Oh, isn't that a sweet story? It almost makes me want to cry because grandmas are like that sometimes. But yeah, that is just such a sweet story. And what is more huggable than a baby, right? Lovable and huggable. So, so today, I thought we could talk about hugs. Yeah, so, so let's start by talking about what hugs do. Do you know what hugs do? They, they make you feel good, don't they? Yes, they just make you feel loved. Mm -hmm. Did you know when someone hugs you, it actually affects your body? It releases, it makes your body release feel-good hormones. And, and these hormones, oh, they just make your body feel more relaxed and, and happier and just plain better. And, and because you're happier, you're, you're less stressed and you have less anxiety. Do you know what anxiety is? I'll, I'll tell you. Anxiety is when you're worried. You know, some people, when they're worried, they bite their fingernails, yeah. Or, or you might worry so much you feel sick to your stomach, yes. And you might feel anxious and just want to get up and run. You know what? I When I get anxious, I just want to scream, you know. You hear people talk about they want to pull their hair out because they're so anxious. So anxious is not really a good feeling, is it? But, but you know, a nice, warm hug, oh, it can just get rid of all those feelings of stress and anxiety. It just helps you to to relax. It can keep your blood pressure down and, and it can actually help your body to heal. Yeah. So, oh, and I like this too. Hugs make you feel safe. Did you ever wake up during the night after a bad dream and you're scared because it's dark and you had a bad dream and mom or dad, they come in and they give you a big hug? That's very reassuring, isn't it? Yes, it makes you know that everything's okay. Yeah. When my grandson was only four, we took him to his first movie and there was a part of the movie that was scary and he got up, he started putting his coat on, he was gonna go home and I said, no, no, it's okay. So he sat in my lap and I wrapped my arms around him and gave him a hug and, and that made him feel secure and so he was able to make it through the rest of the movie. Yeah, so, so hugs, they just make you feel secure and make you feel like everything's okay. And, oh, here's an other, another special thing about hugs. They, they say more than words can. Have you ever had a time when you, you just didn't know what to say to somebody? You wanted to say something to make them feel better, but you just didn't know what to say? Yeah, well, you know, a hug can kind of fill that gap. Yeah, it, it shows that you care and that even if you don't know what to say, that, that you're there for them and that you really care about what they're going through. So did you know there's different kinds of hugs? You did? You did know that? Well, you're smarter than me then because I never really thought about it. But, but yeah, there's some different kinds of hugs. So I thought we could talk about them. So what do you think a friend or an acquaintance hug would be? Do you, know, do you know what that would be? That would be like um, when you see somebody, like somebody you go to school with and maybe you see them at the grocery store or, or Walmart or, or on a different playground and you go, hey, I know you, we go to school together. And you give them a quick hug because it, it's somebody that you know, right? Yeah, or, or it could be for like a, a long lost relative that you haven't seen for a long time, like a cousin or an aunt and an uncle that live a long way away and you don't see them very often. So when you do, you, you give them a hug because you know that you know them. You, you just don't spend a lot of time with them. How about a best friend hug? That's easy. That, that's for your best friend, right? This hug says, you are special to me. Out of all the kids on the playground at school, I like to play with you the most because you are my best friend. Yeah. So, do you know, I met my best friend in kindergarten mm -hmm, and we were best friends all through school. And you know what? We, we still keep in touch with each other. So best friends can last a lifetime. They're so important. Yes, they are. How about a mom and a dad hug? <laughs> do you like mom and dad hugs? <laughs> you get annoyed with them? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe mom and dad give you too many hugs. But, oh, mom and dad hugs are special because they say out of all the millions and billions, Billions of kids in the world, 
you belong to me. You are my special child. And so they should make you feel special because you are, you are special, yes. Oh, I like this one. Oh, wait a minute. Let me talk to mom and dad for just a minute. Let me talk to them for just a minute, okay? Just give me a minute with mom and dad. So don't go anywhere. I'll be right back because I have more hugs to talk about. But uh, mom and dad, you know, I know that in the morning it can be hectic trying to get the kids ready for school. Mm -hmm. It can be quite stressful. Yeah, but, but don't send them off to school all stressed out because you had a rough morning. Make sure before they walk out that door that you give them a big hug and a kiss because that will tell them that everything's okay, that will show them that they are special, that you do love them, and that even though you might have had a stressful start, you do love them and you care. And, and that big hug will help them to have a better day. You want to send them out the door on the right foot. So don't ever let them walk out the door without that hug and that kiss. That's very important to them. It is. Okay, kids, want to talk about more hugs? All right, here grandparents hugs. I love this one. Yes, I do. Yeah, I love grandparent hugs. You know, grandparents, they realize they've gone, to, after their kids grow up and move out, they've gone a spell with no kids. That's called empty nest syndrome. And so they're really missing kids. So they have a hard time waiting for the grandchildren, like, like the grandmother in our story. So when they finally have grandchildren, oh, they're so excited. They just can't stop hugging and kissing them. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, my granddaughter, she was born in the middle of this COVID pandemic. And I couldn't hug her for quite a while. When I went to see her, I had to look at her through a window. And I got to the point where I was ready to pay them to let me hold her. I was ready to say, look, I'll give you 50 bucks if you'll just let me hold the baby. <laughs> That's kind of funny, huh? But finally, I did get to hold her, yes. But, but sometimes grandmothers, oh, they just can't help themselves. What's that? Your grandmother smothers you with kisses, yeah, yeah. Oh, and oh, and your grandmother pinches your cheeks, <laughs> yes. Well, well, you know, sometimes grandmothers just can't help themselves. No, they're just so excited to see you. So don't let it bother you. Just give her a hug and tell her that she's special. And oh no, don't pinch her back. No, 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 don't pinch her back. No, just a hug will do. Yeah. All right. How about a comforting hug? Yes, that is when somebody needs to be comforted, of course. So like it says, I'm sorry you're hurting and I may not know what to say, but I'm here for you. So like if your brother or your sister are, are crying because they're sad or they hurt themselves, go give them a nice big comforting hug that lets them know that you're there for them. Yeah. How about a happy, excited hug? Oh, that's when something special happens. Like maybe something you've been waiting for, your mom and dad just give it to you and you're so excited and you just jump up and give them a big hug. That, that, that's called spontaneous when you just jump up and do something quick without thinking. But you might give them a spontaneous hug. And is there a gift that would make you that excited? What? An Xbox game system? Oh, oh wow. Oh. Oh, and you would like a PlayStation. Wow. And, and you would like a 55-inch flat-screen high-definition television with Google Play Store? Oh, my goodness. When I was a kid, I was excited to get a box of Cracker Jacks because it had a prize inside. Oh, my goodness. I guess times have changed, haven't they? Oh, okay. One more love hug. A love hug is for like moms and dads, boyfriends and girlfriends. It's, it's somebody that's in a relationship. So you don't need to worry about that for a while. Yeah, you've got time before you'll have to worry about a love hug. Yeah. So, all right. So I think that's enough talk about, about hugs. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing. Do you know how many hugs you need in a day? They say 12. That's a lot of hugs, isn't it? Yeah, they say that 12 hugs will help you to grow and, and develop into a strong, healthy human being. So that's a lot of hugs for one day. But eh, count sometime and see how many hugs you get. Maybe you do. Maybe you get more than you realize. Yeah. All right. So instead of hugging, I think we need to move on to move and groove. So I have a song about love, amazing love. And it's kind of a song that you might want to dance partner. It's not a fast song. It's kind of a slow song. So maybe you want a dance partner. Huggy here is going to be my dance partner. So hop up off that couch and let's see what we got here. I hear that Huggy is a good dancer, so let's see how he does. Oh, here we go. I'm forgiven because you were forsaken. I'm accepted. You are Spirit is within me because you died. 
ready, Huggy? nice and don't you think that Huggy is an amazing dancer oh he did a great job all right so all right so a couple things I wanted to tell you that that song is just such an amazing song talking about amazing love yeah so, and uh, love is just such an amazing thing isn't it just makes you feel happy and appreciated and special right there's no better feeling than being loved, right? To love and be loved. I mean, that's what makes life, makes life better. That, that's what life is all about, right? To love and to be loved, yeah. So, all right, well, let's check our bee basket and see what we have. So remember, in our bee basket, our bee basket, those are, those are the things we want to be, right? The things we want to be. All right, so let's see what we have in here. Oh, oh, look at this. <laughs> Huggy, did you put this in here? It says be loving. Well, that is just appropriate for day today, isn't it? Oh my goodness, we're talking about hugs and love since Valentine's Day is coming. And our B for today is be loving. So, Huggy, I'm going to just test you and see. I want to know if you were paying attention We were when we were talking about the different kinds of hugs. So, you tell me what kind of hug that you could uh, use. So Huggy is very shy. So when Huggy talks, Huggy just whispers in my ear. So so Huggy, um, tell me, um, if you were going to use a comforting hug, let's see what we got here. A comforting hug. Yeah. So um, when could you use a comforting hug?
Oh, that's very good. Yeah, he said when his brother gets stung by a bee. Mm -hmm. well, you know bears, they're always trying to get into beehives to get the honey, right? So it wouldn't be unusual for his brother to get stung by a bee, so that's good. So um, how about um, a friend hug? Oh, he says when his cousin Ben comes to visit, because he doesn't get to see him all the time. But friend, Ben is a, a, a friend, not just a, a, a cousin, but a friend of his. So, oh, what's that? Oh, oh, he says he never hugs strangers. That's a very good point, Huggy. Yes, you should never hug strangers. You don't have to be rude to strangers, but you should never hug them. No, no. So, um, okay, let's see. How about a mom and dad hug? <laughs> yeah, he says that one's easy. Of course, he would use that to hug his mom and dad. Yeah, he said because his mom and dad take good care of him, so he likes to give them hugs. Yeah, so, oh, how about a happy, excited hug? When would you use a happy, excited hug? I bet, yeah. yeah. He said when his mom and dad give him honey. <laughs> Bears get excited about honey, right? What's, what's that? Oh, and he said blueberries, too. Yeah, he likes blueberries, too. Yeah, yeah, so when his... Uh, his mom and dad give him honey and blueberries. So when would you use your best friend hug? Oh, he said for his best friend, Bartley. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Bartley? Bartley's been to visit us before. Yeah, he said Bartley is his best friend, so that's the hug he would save for Bartley. Yep. How about grandparents? When would you give your grandparents? Right, for your grandparents. What, oh, what's that? Oh! Oh, he said he could give me a hug, too, because I'm a grandparent. I'm a grandmother. Oh, well, thank you, Huggy. That's very nice of you. How about a love hug? When would you use a love hug? Oh, he says when he's older. <laughs> he says he's not old enough for a love hug yet, but when he's older, he hopes to have a wife someday. Well, those are all very good answers, Huggy. You did a great job. Yeah, what's that? Oh, you have a question? Oh, oh, you're right. He said I didn't explain what the X and the O on my poster are. He's right. That Thank you, Huggy. I forgot all about that. So um, X and O's, those stand for hugs and kisses. The round circle, this, the O, is the hug, and the X is the kiss. So if you're writing a letter to somebody, instead of writing out hugs and kisses, you can just put XOXO because that means hugs and kisses. Or, or like when you're sending text messages, XOXO. And, and that's just a quick way to say hugs and kisses. Yeah, well, thank you for bringing that up, Huggy. I had forgotten all about that. Yeah, so, so you know, uh, Huggy, I am just so glad that you were here today because you did a good job helping me. You reminded me about some of the things that I forgot to say. Now, do you remember, um, do you remember how many hugs you need in a day, do you remember? Right, 12, 12. Do you want me to give you 12 hugs? <laughs> no, he, he said he doesn't really want me to give him 12 hugs because uh, probably he would get squished if I gave him 12 hugs, right? So you, you don't need to give 12 hugs all at once, but maybe a couple in the morning and a couple around lunchtime and, and a couple in the afternoon and then before bedtime. Yeah, just spread your hugs out. Yeah, because hugs are really important. You know, all this talk about hugs, it makes me want to go find my grandchildren and, and hug and squeeze them and, and smother them with kisses and pinch their cheeks. And, okay, maybe I won't pinch their cheeks. You said you didn't like that. No. So so I guess we can skip that part. I won't bother to pinch their cheeks. <laughs> but, oh, well, I, I think we had fun talking about hugs, right? I think that we learned a lot today about the different kinds of hugs and how important hugs are. Hugs really make you feel special, and they make other people feel special, too. So make sure you share hugs with people that you love. And, you know, here's the thing. You don't have to wait for Valentine's Day to share hugs. You can hug your loved ones every day. Yes, you can. Not just on Valentine's Day, because they make you feel special, and, and they'll make other people feel special. Yeah, and remember, they actually help our body, help our body to heal and, and help our body to feel more relaxed so we're not so stressed out and full of anxiety. Remember, we, we talked about anxiety, and it's not a fun feeling. Yeah, so, well, you know, oh, what's that, Huggy? Right, right, he said, but remember to never hug a stranger. That's right. Well, thank you for your help, Huggy. Oh, Huggy was very helpful today, wasn't he? Oh, well, I do hope that you have a happy Valentine's Day and, and that you do get some candy. Yes, I do hope that. Yeah, so, so, well, you take care. You stay healthy, safe, and happy, and Grandma Kitty will see you next time. Bye-bye.